This video is all about the pursuit of space. With very few exceptions, increased space creates value, as seen by the recent survey that shows that single-family homes continue to increase in size. That said, what if a small home could be designed to provide both space and function of a much larger home? What if a smaller lot could be designed in a neighborhood that seems more estate-like? If these intrinsic values could be incorporated, then more diverse income groups can enjoy values traditionally provided by the upper crust of society, and the home would gain significant market edge and value. Let's begin with regulations. Many cities require a minimum percentage of the land to be reserved as open space. Because usable and desirable land would naturally be used for lots, less buildable land is delegated to open space and the resulting space is typically configured in ways that are not usable or even open. Look at these three seemingly similar two-acre open spaces from a bird's eye plan view. They all appear to provide two acres of openness. Now look at the first example from the ground at eye level from a horizontal view that we experience as human beings. The steep slopes from the lower portion view into a hillside decreases our perception of space. The second example seen from ground level was a patch of heavily wooded land. Thus thick natural landscapes limits the view of perhaps the first 50 feet into the space. Thus it may be two acres, but not two acres of open space. Only the third example feels greater than two acres because outside that space area expands until it counters the first visual barrier, that being the homes built around it. The lesson is that we need to look further than simply a bird's eye view to judge the quality of neighborhood open space. The second area where we increase the experience of space is along the streetscape, either walking or driving. Let's take two examples, a larger lot development and a smaller lot development. Both adhere to the city's regulations with a 50 foot wide right of way and 20 foot front yard setback. Again, from a bird's eye view, the larger lots appear much larger, but from a human perspective, looking down the street, the feel of space is identical because both provide barriers 90 foot from garage door to garage door. Thus, space can only be increased by increasing the distance between homes. But can a person actually sense the increase? Would an additional 10 or 20 feet make a difference? Probably not. From within a home, even a small change in room size of a foot can be felt. However, given the vast visual limits of outside, we must be far more aggressive with changes in space to actually be felt. This is what we refer to as scale. Yes, by pulling a home 10 feet further back from the street, we can increase space, but can we actually sense the same percentage of increase? To achieve the increase in space, we must be willing to significantly change scale along the streetscape, providing an aggressive, coordinated, meandering change in setback. You could stagger the homes, but staggering does not achieve the same increased sense of openness. If a developer or builder is not willing to adopt an aggressive change in scale, then the actual space may increase, but likely with an increased construction cost and less extra value to the housing. The value of space can only come from increasing average front and rear yards, which provides extra distances from where the majority of the windows will be located within a typical home being built. If designed properly, the extra space required to achieve this increased value does not have to sacrifice density. Now let's look at the home itself. Some architects are familiar with visual tricks to increase the sense of space from within a home. For the sake of those not familiar, let's review. A wall is a visual barrier to space, as well as the floor or ceiling. We can easily raise the ceiling to make a small room feel bigger, but lowering the floor is not possible. So to make a small home feel larger, we simply build less interior walls, which also lower construction costs. A large home with a complex array of small rooms might feel smaller than a well-designed open floor plan of a home with a fraction of the size. Another somewhat simple way to make a small home feel larger is to reduce or eliminate all hallway space. Line of sight, 
one that experiences by allowing views to the furthermost corners of peripheral vision increases space perception. Additional cost items like interior glass and opening up interior windows increases space and could be paid for by a more efficient design elsewhere. The largest increase in space can be achieved easily by coordinating the increased open spaces surrounding the home with the architectural spaces within. This architectural blending of space is by far the least costing and greatest increase in value that can be achieved by merging the planning of a neighborhood and the floor planning of the architecture. Living spaces and window locations are carefully designed in a way so that the perception or everyday experience of space can be delivered without extra cost to the consumer. This extra value not only expedites the sale to that first home buyer, but the value goes on and on to each subsequent family residing in the home thereafter. The sustainable value is an insurance against the blight as the city ages. The only downside is that the designers must take the time and effort to re-educate and retool.